Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're gonna do this. We're creating this flickering neon text effect in After Effects. Okay, here we are in After Effects. The first thing we need to do is set up a new composition. We'll go 1920 by 1080 HD as usual, 24 frames a second. Then we'll come up here and create a new solid, lay a new solid. The shortcut key is Control Y. We'll set it to comp size and we will select a black color. Let's rename that to background. Then we'll come up here and grab our text tool and drag that out. We'll type in something creative like neon. I do love a bit of Comic Sans, but I think this time we might use a different font. Let's go with Ephra Bold. If you don't have Ephra, you can get it from Typekit. There's a link down below. Otherwise, you can use whatever font you like. All right, let's center that up and make it a little bit bigger. Then we'll go over here and duplicate our background layer and we'll put it above the text. Then we need to add the Saber effect. This is an awesome free plugin from Video Copilot. You can just go to their site. There's a link down below and just download it for PC or Mac. Now that we've got that sorted out, let's rename our layer to Saber and we'll come up here and tweak some of these settings. The first thing we need to do is make this glowing line wrap around our text. So we'll pop open our custom core tab and change the core type to text layer and we'll select layer two neon, which is our text. And there we go. The guys at Video Copilot have made our life very easy here. There's actually a preset called neon that we can use. So that gives us a nice pink neon-y color and dulls down that glow a bit. But I think we wanna bring that glow intensity down a little bit more. Let's try 33%, 0 0.8 in the glow spread, 0 0.3 for the bias and three for the size. We'll grab our text layer and move it into the center. Then we need to get a camera in here so we can add a bit of drift. The shortcut for that is Control Alt Shift C. Then we'll put a null object in to control the camera. We'll tick the 3D box and rename it camera control. Then we'll parent camera one to it with the pick whip and click the 3D box on the saber layer. We'll hit P to get our position controls and you can see that is controlling our camera nicely. Let's add a keyframe at the beginning and we'll make it zoom in a little bit and we'll stick a keyframe in there as well. Okay, our background is looking pretty boring. So let's grab it and add a four color gradient effect. You can see nothing happened there. We just need to go up to our Sabre layer and under the render settings tab, we can choose transparent under the composite settings. And there you go, it's beautiful. You could leave it there if you're after the rainbow look, but we're gonna change the colors, I think. Let's hide that text layer and grab our background. Then we'll come up here and make all of these a dark purple. And for color four, we'll make that a lighter purple. That's probably a bit intense. So let's bring the opacity down to 50%. Beautiful. Let's have a look at our animation. Okay, I think we just need to add a bit of flicker and we should be done. Let's grab our saber layer and have it flicker on. If we press T and open up our opacity settings, we'll set a keyframe at zero on frame three, then 59 at frame four, 22 at frame six, then 70 at frame seven, and then 21 at frame eight, and finally, 100% on frame 11. That should give us a nice organic flicker in. We can also change the settings in the flicker tab in the Sabre plugin. Where it says flicker intensity, we might just bring that down to 22%. And we should probably bring the halo intensity down a bit too. And there you go, all done. Don't forget you can download the project file below to save a bit of time. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. Catch you next time.